Hello everybody, Bets Golden. I'm here with Renea foil paper today and we are going to be using some stays on ink as well. So let me first show you the foil paper I'm using and I have to explain this to you. I am directly, I'm on my desk right now and directly overhead is my, my light which has a horrible big glare right on this spot so I have it covered with a piece of pattern paper that is not even relevant to what I'm doing but I want to explain to you why that's there it's to cover the spot but I can't do this technique over where I normally film my filming station because I don't want to take my glass mat over there so anyway and I'm going to need that today so I'm going to be using the frosted variety pack it comes in two sizes the artist pack and also the crafters pack for this, I just need the artist pack, and the colors that are in are turquoise, silver, sapphire, and it comes in a starstruck and glossy texture, a total of 12 sheets. So I'm using the silver for this as well as the turquoise um, starstruck, and what I did was I took the silver out, Dun, dun, dun. Let me find it for you so you can see it. It's a glossy. It's perfectly flat. Okay, so there's nothing really... Ooh, sorry, didn't mean to blind you. There's no texture to this. It's just glossy and shiny, right? So my first step to do this, and it's important that I go in this manner or else I could um, tear my paper and I don't want to do that. So I take that... Um, silver glossy sheet. I cut it down to my card size and I'm making a small card today. It's a four by five. So I cut it down to 3.75 by 4.75 and then I ran it through my cuddle bug with this beautiful snowflake embossing powder, embossing folder. <laughs> so from here, I am going to actually use some of my ink in a, in a method that a lot of people use with their distress oxides. And that is, I'm going to just lay out over here one smoosh of this and one smoosh of this one. And it's the cloudy sky and midnight blue. And then I am going to take my stays on cleanse cleaner and go around and kind of through a little bit and then my water and mist it from here I'm just gonna take my silver side and start to pick up some of that color like you would do if you were doing the distress oxide or distress ink now this color is still pretty solid because I just got it wet so in order to loosen it up a little bit more I'm just going to apply the cleanser and what this does is this allows that color to get a little bit more fluid so I can go ahead and just dip right on through and then it just gives a beautiful effect on top of my silver and my gray did get a little bit lost in that which you know I'm experimenting and playing so that's okay <laughs> about there so that made a really ooh bad light sorry really pretty beautiful effect on that paper so the silver is still shining through but I also have that stays on ink that is giving it some more color. And this can be challenging to do with this type of paper because you really do need a special ink that's fast drying um, but won't remove the beautiful foiled color like a ghost ink will. I already have my card front cut down and I'm just using a piece of card stock from my stash that I've had forever and it coordinates nicely with this. I believe this is a Oh, is this a Market 49 card stock? It might be. It's a couple years old. And I went ahead and put my little sentiment. This is actually a little sticker that says Merry Christmas right here. I got it at my local scrapbooking store. I love them. 
it's a sheet of like 25 or 50 of them. It's awesome. So I'm going to mat this to my turquoise star burst, star struck, excuse me, like so. And then we will assemble the card. And this is kind of a quick card because the technique is super simple. I'm going to apply my, oops, sorry, glue directly to my card stock because I've really put that foil paper through the ringer with first I beat it up in my cuddle bug <laughs> and then I went ahead and ran it through some ink and that was wet so it needs some time to recover. I'm afraid that if I put this directly on my foil paper it might actually tear. It's pretty durable stuff but too much abuse and anything's bound to break, literally. If you notice, I am assembling my card with my crease line here, but it's totally open. And the reason is because if you assemble cards flat and closed, it will allow that spring to action to happen and you won't get a very nice coverage. And my ink is still a little wet, which is normal because I used water on this, so that makes sense. And then from here, I'm going to apply my cute little sentiment and call this card good. I was going to fold it, but I changed my mind because I think I want to add some of these cute little glitter drops it is the aquatic mist now something i want to mention stays on is a quick drying ink under normal circumstances under most circumstances however i have really manipulated this ink so it's going to take a minute to dry and that's totally okay and totally normal that's i mean i smooshed it on a glass mat I added in the, the all-purpose stamp cleaner. I sprayed it down. I really liquefied this, and it's going to take some time for that to dry. However, once it dries, it's going to dry permanent, and I'm not going to be able to move it. But I'm going to have to give it a little bit of time to get to that point. Also, if you wanted to heat set this, I wouldn't recommend it because it would take... It might bubble on you with as moist as it is and then as long as it would take to get it dry. So the best thing to do is just to let this air dry for a few minutes and it won't take very long to set up. So I'm going to add some little of the uh, drops in random areas. It's finished and I'm going to let it dry before I fold it. So make sure that you, you catch the pictures at the end of the finished product. If you guys have any questions about the Rhenia foil paper and this technique, please leave them down below. This is kind of a new technique. I've ne I have not seen this demonstrated anywhere on any um, blog or in any, in any YouTube video. So definitely if you have questions, please leave them down below. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is very, very interesting. I think it's kind of cool. But if you want your dew drops to stay with that little dome, like an epoxy dome, you're going to want to apply it after this is dried. And the reason is because this foil paper is still wet. And so the dew drops is reacting with the moisture level of this project and it's actually flattening and spreading, which is kind of cool. I might take something and just pull it through um, just to give it a little bit more texture. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to take um, just the end of this and I'm just gonna kind of pull this down and through and just to loosen it up a little bit and make it a little bit more random. My intention was to have some dimension on this, but 
you know, but that's not necessarily going to work, but that's okay. I think that this is going to be a really cool effect also. So I'm actually going to go through and just kind of add a little bit more all over, really get that glitter going. And now that glitter is just popping. So I think that it's all drying. So I'm just going to play right now. That's what this is. This is play. A lot of times for me, art and projects are experimental and I'm never, I don't, I change my mind and I do new things as the process continues. So I'm really kind of liking that. It's looking pretty cool with the little, with the glitter and stuff in, in this drops. Stickles would actually be really good for this, what I'm doing right now. That would be really fun. I think that that's going to be all I'm going to add of, with this. Because stickles automatically flattens out. There we go. So now it is done. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'll fold it take some pictures for you. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you are interested in any of the Rinia products, make sure you check out their website. I have a link provided down below, as well as finding more inspiration over on the blog. There's lots of stuff going on over there that's really awesome. And also make sure uh, that you like this video and feel free to share it. Until next time, happy crafting.